May sound crazy, but for years I was out sharpening for salons, getting repeat business. My customers were happy, but I wondered if I was like Cinderella and uh, eventually this clock was going to strike midnight and everyone discovered that I really didn't know what I was doing sharpening. <laughs> and it would have been nice for someone who was knowledgeable to look at my sharpening and say, hey, Bonnie, you're doing a good job, or no, Bonnie, you're not. And um, the only one I had to do that was one, one of my customers who was very picky. And it's because of her spurred me on to get more training and to learn more and to go where I am now. So that brings me to the International Scissor Sharpeners Association certification. Let's take a look at this. Now he's completed the written test and all the answers are correct. So let's take a look at the shears. And what I've done is I've sent out, actually Misty's been <laughs> damaging these last few shears. I think she does a tougher job than me. But um, we've sent out a beveled edge shear and a convex edge shear with a few nicks on it and dulled out a little bit. And we're looking to see whether the beveled edge comes back as a beveled edge, convex comes back as a convex. And if the nicks are out, if they're sharp and if they cut, uh, if they cut, dry tissue, wet tissue, which tells me if all the burrs and nicks are gone, and if it cuts hair. So let's take a look at these shears. I have, this is number 313016, and let's see what's going on. So in pulling this rubber band off, He's kind of left the serrations on there. Looks like he kind of half took them off and half left them on, um, which isn't ideal, but let's see how they cut. And it is definitely a beveled edge. And let's see how it cuts. Thumb out. Cuts fine. Wet. This is that really cheap, thin toilet tissue. Oh, it cuts nice wet. Because these beveled edges don't always have to cut wet. Let's see how it cuts hair, if it pushes, or if it cuts well. Nice crisp cut. So we're gonna say the beveled edges pass. Convex edge, that's the hard one. And these come from the factory micro beveled. And I'm looking for you to reconvex it. And in looking at it, yes, he's reconvexed them. Let's see if they're sharp. And what I do with this is I kind of razor through the hair. to make sure that it's cutting the hair and not pulling it out at the stump. So yeah, they feel sharp. Let's see if it cuts dry, and we may have one to be passing today. Cuts dry. Oh, a little pull there. Ugh. See how it cuts wet. I'm kind of iffy. Slow catches things fast, does it? Oh! That's an air compressor. Goes off like that, scares the death out of me. <laughs> oh, shut up, air compressor. Let me go unplug it. Oh, uh, so quiet in here. So I really didn't get a good look at that tip. I'm thinking that pulls, but let's try that tip again. It's pulling at the tip. Do you see that? 
I don't think you got a burr at the tippy tip tip. Let me see if you can see what I see. I'm thinking there's a burr right at the tip. It's not super bad, it's just a little bit. But let's see if it pulls hair. Since when I have a question about the tip, I try it on two different kinds of hair. One, this is something that would represent fur or really thick, fine hair. See, it pulls. That's not going to make a hairstylist happy. Let's see how it does on really fine hair. See, it cuts through this hair okay. Although, it tends to have a little bit of a push. Can you see how it pushes? But it's not pulling. But on this hair, it's pulling. I can lift this up by those scissors because it's pulling the hair. And if someone was point cutting into some thicker hair doing this kind of thing, it would definitely pull. So I'm going to say he didn't pass but it's so very, very close. What I would probably do, you could do a couple of things. Um, go over the tip with a nail buffer. And um, sometimes even just get one of your pads and just sort of rough it up a little bit, the tip. The other thing you could do, which would be easy enough, is whatever part where it's catching, Leave your fuzz on there and then shorten it. And it's about maybe a millimeter. Shorten it a millimeter to where the part that's not catching is gone. So close, so close. Uh, I'd like to have you have you pay for the shipping back and resharpen it because you're just so close and in fact if you want to not send it back to me when you get them if you can just videotape cutting some fur like this or cutting some wet tissue and show me show me how these cut um, you don't need to send them back to me you think you can pass <laughs> uh, now his customers probably are fine with the sharpening and it's so rare that you're cutting that thick type of hair and you're pulling it out but if you were you might be unhappy with this sharpener and maybe not even tell them maybe just look for another sharpener you really want the customers that will complain they'll let you come back and fix it the ones that don't complain don't help you grow and it was my complaining stylist who made me the sharpener I am today because I kept trying to please her. If you want to see some more videos on this ISSA, International Scissor Sharpeners Association, and some of the other certifications, um, take a look at these videos. This one here is one that covers about um, the tip pulling, like this one, which is a common, common error.